Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm here with part two of my um, concealer slash top 10 um, concealers and powder. I did top eight concealers. Today I'm going to sit down and do my top 10 face powders, um, setting powders. These are powders I use for all over the face and powders my top also includes for under eye powder. So let me quickly just um, say what I like in a powder. I don't like a heavy powder. I don't like a powder that's too matte, too drying, that cracks and cakes, make me look cakey and age me, especially my under eye powders. Now, these powders, as I always say, they're in no particular order. So let's start with, the first powder I'm gonna start with is my Fenty Pro Filter Powder. I have it in the shade Hazelnut. Now I had, I actually had four of these powders. I still have three. I gave, I think the last, the darker shade was coffee. I gave that away. So hazelnut for all over. As you guys know, this is my tried and true. I've used it so many times on my channel. There's still so much left of this powder. And this retails for $32. And I have cashew and I have honey for under eye. Anyway, what I love about this powder, it's so lightweight. I remember when this powder launched and I reviewed it, I fell in love with it right away, and I especially like, like I always say, I love the yellow in this powder. I think it just has a beautiful, like golden yellow color. Let me just give it a quick swatch. So this is what the powder looks like. It has so much yellow. In it that I just absolutely love it I think it looks perfect over the skin and it's very lightweight it's like you just it just enhances it doesn't and it sets the powder the foundation in place nicely as well but it's not heavy so because you know you're all already wearing foundation and you don't want like a heavy powder and to me this just sits very nicely on the face i think i heard i, I had looked at one review where um somebody didn't like it and they also complained about the scent and to me i don't know what scent they were talking about it's a nice pleasant vanilla scent to me but i absolutely love this powder and this is always always in heavy rotation all right next powder is my charlotte tilbury this is her invisible HD powder. I have it in the shade 02 medium dark and this retails for $32. Now how I like to use this powder, I like to use it for under eye and she wasn't kidding when she said invisible HD powder guys. Like when you, when you put this on to set your concealer, it, there's no sign that you put powder on, you know, that kind of way. It just smells into your skin. It does look invisible and it does have like that HD look. And I, I especially love the way it looks in pictures. And I have, and Zero Two has a slight sort of a salmonish color, very, very light salmon color. And I think it complements um, deeper skin. I think there are three shades. I think there's a deeper shade. I don't know if people use this for all over, but I don't. So although it looks light, there's a slight peach, I mean a slight salmon undertone. And when you put it on your eye, it doesn't look white. It doesn't look um, ashy or anything. And it just melts into the skin, guys. And I have a lot of powder. Like some powders I don't like, some powders I absolutely love. So my top 10 it was so difficult for me to pick the top 10 powders but this powder is absolutely incredible i don't know if you guys own it but if you're thinking of getting any type of powder from natasha known i would i would definitely suggest um getting this powder all right so my next powder is the charlotte tilbury her magic um powder and i have it in the shade 3 10 dark this is pricey this retails for 45 dollars now this can be used for under eye and it also can be used for all over the face. I have two. I have um, this shade, you know, the um, the 310 dark shade for all over. And I have, I think, the second shade for under eye. Guys, this is such, oops, sorry. This is such a pretty powder. And this also, like the Fenty powder, 
has that beautiful golden yellow undertone. How pretty is that? Let me go ahead and swatch this. Now, it has that same lightweight feel of when like you put it on. It just melts into your foundation so everything like becomes one and then you set it so it doesn't look like you have powder sitting on your face. And that's what I love about powders. I love powders that look that are very light and airy and it just sets your foundation the way it's supposed to and it doesn't look like you have another layer of foundation over that. So this is the color of this one. It has a lot of yellow in it. The only negative with this powder and I've every time I've used it on my channel, I've said it, the smell and <laughs> the only word I can come up with, it, it smells so foul. It has like a stinky smell. <laughs> I, I felt like a four year old saying stinky, but it just has, the smell is not pleasant at all. Like it's, it's a very funky smell. So if you're, you know, you have, if you don't like, like scents, you're definitely going to like not like that because it's not a perfume smell. It's just, for lack of a better word, stink. Lack of a stink smell, but it's it's so good. It's worth it. All right. So my fourth powder is the Pat McGrath, the under eye setting powder. I have it in deeper shade. I have it in deep. And guys, this under eye powder is one of my favorite all-time under eye powders. I It's like, I don't know out of that. And my Charlotte Tilbury each one I like most, but this powder blurs everything. And I remember um, when I did my review on this powder and I put it on, I was so wowed. I'm still wowed. And I still, I, although I have my backup guys, <laughs> I am still using the one that's broken. Now this powder definitely doesn't have a lot of yellow. I wished it had a lot of yellow, but it still works. To me, this deep shade and... Most of you guys I know own this on the right powder. Although it's neutral, this also, looking at it to me, has like a slight salmon color. And I think that's what works for deeper skin tones. And I love put all of this powders in a compact. Okay, so this is this this is what it looks like. I wish it had a little bit more yellow, but it's so stunning, so beautiful. And most most powders in the compact, I love using a brush to put it on. This looks great with a brush, but for me personally, I think it looks better with a damp beauty sponge or a beauty blender. It just because if you if you use it and you use it with a brush, use it with a damp beauty blender on the outer side and look at the difference. I think you get more flawlessness. You look more airbrushed. It just looks spectacular, I think, with a beauty sponge. And this is a phenomenal powder. And this is right up there. I would go, this is definitely top two of my favorite under eye um, setting powders. And um, my fifth favorite setting powder, no particular order, is the Charlotte Tilbury, the um, airbrushed pow powder. And this retails for, oh, the Pat McGrath powder is $30. Okay. So the Charlotte Tilbury retails for, this is pricey, this is $45. I have two shades. I have tan for under eye, and this is the new shade, Deep. And I think a couple of people told me there's another new shade, but anyway, I have the shade Deep. I also reviewed this on my channel. I use this today to set my foundation. I'm wearing the new Too Faced, the matte foundation today. Oh my God, I this foundation is so pretty. Anywho. Um, so this is shade four, absolutely beautiful. And I'm so, I love it for under eye as well. I use tan for under eye. It just smooths out your under eye. It gives that same beautiful look that the Pat McGrath, um, powder gives that smoothing look. So, cause I've been asked which one I prefer. And right now it's a tie for me. I can't just say, Oh, I like this. They're both so beautiful under eye, so beautiful all over the face. I think as soon as you start, and I've been using a fluffy brush, one of the brushes from my Sonia G, um, her Sky Face Set, to put the powder on. And as soon as you start putting powder on, you can just see it, your face starts looking flawless and starts looking airbrushed. This is such a fantastic powder. I'm so glad she made this shade. 
but she needs to make deeper shades so darker skinned women can enjoy this powder charlotte please what are you doing make a few more shades what would it hurt you it's gonna sell people are gonna buy this powder because it's that good beautiful beautiful powder all right continuing on Next um, powder I'm going to talk about is the is the Charlotte Tilbury, the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I have it in the shade deep, the deeper shade. I have it in limited edition packaging. I also have it in regular packaging, but of course I had to get the limited edition limited edition packaging because I'm crazy and um, <laughs> definitely nuts. So you guys all know about this powder it's it's an absolutely beautiful beautiful powder i use my beauty sponge to set my entire face with this i recently got um the shade honey for under eye and i do love it and but with that particular honey for some reason you have to wait until your concealer really dries down when i debuted it in my get ready with me it got a little patchy so now i just let my concealer like dry and then i put it over and it's been working out great but um, this, this is also a powder that sits on your face and it just looks like part of your foundation. It blends very nicely in, in, into um, your skin. It doesn't get patchy. It doesn't matter what primer, what kind of like oily or glowy stuff you put underneath. Everything just sits. I wish though that this had some more yellow. And to me, this is more like a cool tone kind of neutral shade to me especially when you look at it in the in the container when you put it in your hand it, it's not as it doesn't look as reddish as it looks in there but this could have this could have been a little bit more yellow it could have been as yellow as the fenty and as the charlotte hilbury um powder but it's still so pretty so nice no caking up anything of the sort and that retails for $39 a lot of these powders are um, pricey all right my next powder is again from Laura Mercier and it's her secret her secret brightening powder and I have this in the shade um, number two and this powder retails for $28 and it looks like you don't get that much but I've used this so much and there's still a lot in here this particular powder does exactly secret it brightens your under eye and makes it look flawless I remember purchasing this powder because I always thought there was only one shade until I discovered oh there's there's a deeper shade for deeper skin tones and I picked it up and I have not regretted it and this has a nice amount of yellow that I love. There it is. Such a pretty powder. And I love putting this on with a damp beauty sponge. And this is what the shade looks like. If you haven't purchased this powder or owned this powder, I would definitely suggest this secret um, this, this secret brightening powder. It does exactly that. It just brightens your under eye. It makes your under eye look so pretty, so flawless, no crease, and everything just smooths out. Like a lot of these powders, especially the under eye powders that I talked about, like the Pat McGrath and the Charter Tilbury, it just has a beautiful smoothing effect, and this does it. And this gives like a nice brightening, and I love the shade of this. It brightens without looking like ashy. On deeper skin tones so it's such a ugh, such a beautiful powder I haven't used it in a little bit because I've been messing around with you know all my new powders but I absolutely love um, this powder all right next powder I'm gonna talk about and I have rarely seen anybody talk about this powder but this has been in my collection for so long and I've loved it for so long I loved it when it was in the original packaging as well. And this is the Kevin O'Quall Loose Gossamer Powder. I have mine in the shade Radiant Diaphanous. And this particular um, powder is pricey. I think this was almost a 70 something or $80 um, powder. And it used to be in um, a container that was had like a nice wine colored lid and you got more. When it came to Sephora, when it relaunched in the Sephora website, it came in this compact with less. I was so mad. But this, I usually use this to set my under eye. And guys, just like all of these, this is spectacular under eye. It looks 
amazing under your eye. It covers everything, plays very nicely. And I don't particularly love this packaging. This is what it looks like on the inside. And then you have to like lift this up. And so for all the amount of money and mine, I've used it so much. A lot of it is gone, but you don't get a lot at all compared to when it was in the jar. I don't know. That's just a rip off to me, but it's such a good powder and it has a lot of yellow, which I love as well. And this also has that smoothing technology that a lot, a lot of these, um, companies are using now. Like I said, I use it for under eye and it has a similar shade to the Sasha Buttercup and the Laura Mercier, um, the new honey shade. So this is what the shade looks like. That pale yellowish shade, like the Buttercup, the Sasha Buttercup and the new Laura Mercier powder. But it's so pretty guys under eye. Like as soon as you put it on and this one though, has like a slight opacity to it, but it's not bad. It doesn't look like, oh my God, your under eye looks so heavy. But compared to all the other powders, especially the under eye powders, there's a certain opacity to this one. So you get like some coverage with it under your eye, if that makes sense, but it looks spectacular and it just instantly just brightens um, your eye. I absolutely love this powder. Don't love the new container. Don't love the price point for how little you get but it had to make my top 10 because it's that good. All right, next powder, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna down to two powders. So the next powder I'm gonna talk about, I've been wearing this powder for years and years and years, always gonna be my ride or die. I'm never going to give up on this powder and it's my MAC MSF in dark. Here we go with MAC again. MAC has been slacking off, but I mean, they were like the first brand that I, really discovered outside of the drugstore and you know i bought my first liquid foundation from and i discovered this msf mine has hit pan of course i've repurchased this powder several times and i love pairing it with the, the fixed fluid foundation this is also such a very lightweight powder that i like now they have new packaging and i don't because i own the one that's in a new packaging, but I brought this one out because the, I, I don't like that packaging where you don't have the glass. So I had a little bit left in this one, so I brought this one out. But yeah, this is MSF in dark, and this retails for uh, $26. And I usually put this on with a brush, any type of big fluffy brush, and this has so much yellow. I love the yellow that's in this. Let me swatch it and show you guys. If you own MSF, you know what I'm talking about. It's such a beautiful powder and very, very natural looking. I hope they never discontinue MSF. This is what it looks like. And although this, this has a lot of yellow as well, there's some peach in here as well, which I think is great for deeper skin. Like if you look at it closely, you can see some, there's a little bit of peach in there as well. But I just love the way this sits on the face. I love the fact on that I love powders that, that has a compact that you can carry, especially if I like it. So I love the idea of that Charlotte Tilbury powder. You know, I can carry it. And so this, for years, this used to just be in every pocketbook that I own. I used to have MSF. I, you can touch up with it. And I, I would usually set foundation with, with this. I would touch up with it. I love the shade dark. I used to... When I first bought it, I was like deep dark and then I stuck with dark because of the nice peachy yellow undertone. This is such a fantastic um, powder, guys. Very lightweight, make your skin look very natural. And it's not, There's a, it has a slight satin sheen to it. If you really play with it, great, great powder. All right, my 10th powder. And I think this powder is similar to that MAC MSF powder. And it's my NYX No Filter Powder. And I have this in the shade, um, this is for $12. What shade do I have this in? This is in Golden. This powder, No Filter, yes. It makes your face look filtered. It has that same light technology. And look at the beautiful golden yellow. This is a brand new one that I had purchased because the one I had before after it hit pan, it fell and it just kind of crumbled and I just threw it away. It's, it's 12 bucks. 
I usually get mine from Ulta stores. I've never purchased it from the drugstore or Walgreens. I usually get mine from Ulta because I find the drugstore and Walgreens, I don't know if any of you have noticed, they never have this shade. I find it very suspicious. You don't have the, you know, the deeper shades. Anyway, so this is a golden. And look at that undertone, guys. That beautiful yellow undertone. And I think, I think it's definitely a dupe for MSF. I think it, I think it's a dupe for MSF. I wish though, because the shade after this is too dark, and to me, the shade above it is too light. I wish there was a shade in between these two that I could have purchased. And when you, when I put it on my hand like this, it looks light. But when I set my makeup with this, it doesn't look light. It just gives a nice, flawless airbrush finish. None of that heaviness, no cakiness, no nothing. I love the technology of this powder. And oh, I have powder all over <laughs> my top. So, and for it to be this, that price, and it has that same feel of the, of the MSS, MSF. That slight satin is sheen. There's nothing dry about it. There's nothing matte about it. So it, it gives you a natural look. So this is why I love these two powders. And this one, how much was this one? This one was 20 something, right? This one was 26, this is 12. So if you want to save some money, I would definitely go with this one. They're very, very similar. This one has just a little bit more peach that I, that I do like, but I love them. Um, so much so here we are we've come to the end of my top 10 powders i hope you guys i hope you guys are enjoying um like my top 10 and my top eight or whatever and let me know down below i love hearing what you guys like what um what you guys own do you own any of these powders i love to, i love to hear in the comment section anyway guys i want to thank you again so much for watching and if you've come back to my channel, to all my subscribers, thank you so much. And if you've stumbled upon my channel, please consider um, subscribing. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.